All right, welcome to another crazy week of crochet. This week, I am extra excited because if you follow me over on Instagram, you might have seen that I just had a giant plushie drop of a lot of the things I work on here on YouTube in my videos. You've probably seen them and let's be real, I don't have a use for all of these plushies and you can probably tell they start to build up after a while. So I did a huge drop over on Etsy and I am so, so grateful for how many of them have sold, but I wanna show you kind of a little bit of my packing situation because I just have way too much fun with this part, but I also wanna show you some of the things that are selling for me so far so that you can get some ideas if you are a small business owner yourself, you know, just all sorts of fun stuff. You might be able to tell I'm very excited about this. Okay, let me show you really quick. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through everything that's sold so far. First off, we have this adorable little duck. This pattern is from Crochet Grove and I just absolutely love it. I'm not surprised it sold. I just think it's so cute. It has this cute little frog inner tube and these adorable little blue eyes and you've seen this before. The next thing is actually from a pattern test I did for Wonder Crochet. It's Connie the cow and I made this adorable little blue cow but he is going home today and I'm gonna miss him. He's so cute. He's honestly so cute and I'm just gonna miss having him in the craft room hanging out with us. He's so cute but I'm happy he's going to his home. I also had someone purchase one of my strawberry pops. I think these are so cute and honestly this is probably what I would purchase if I were somebody buying crochet. I just love how their little top pops up and it pops back down but obviously I'm doing this with one hand so it's not ideal. There we go. This pattern is from Cable and Canvas and I just think this is so darn cute. So that's going home and then of course we have Garden Ho Crochet's little apple, apple snail. I love this and I feel like that apple snail is such a cute gift for a teacher too. Like how cute would it be to gift this to a teacher and they can just have it sitting on their desk like come on that is so so cute so i might make more of these soon and restock them because i feel like it is such a great gift for that and then the last thing we have so far is this adorable little strawberry mushy pop this pattern is from crochet by jenna i just absolutely love it and i think it's so cute so all of these little plushies are going home today so i also decided i want to start to try to do free gifts in each of my orders because i just love the idea of that and i love making little plushies and i just feel like it's such a fun little surprise when you open your order so for this round of orders i'm doing a little emotional support cup this pattern is from the crochet carpenter of course and it is just so cute and these work up very quickly i want to say in like 10 minutes so it's a really easy thing to just include as a free gift and so i have three of those and i just went ahead and cut a little piece of paper and tied it onto the handle with some cotton yarn and I think it's just gonna be really cute and hopefully they love it and understand the emotional support cup because let's be real I mean here we go there's mine right here so now my plan is to go ahead and pack up those orders I ran out of packing tape and Ryan he's seriously the best he went and grabbed me some so that I can just chill out and enjoy packing some orders right now it's honestly like one of my favorite things it's just so much fun so I'll show you some of the other little goodies that I put into my orders when I pack them because I like to try to make it special it means so much when people shop small and obviously I want to encourage that on my end by making it more fun than just ordering from Amazon or something so if you did order one of the plushies in this video thank you so much it really does mean so much to me that you enjoy my work as much as I do and if you would like to order a plushie from me I'll definitely have a link in the description of all the ones that I currently have available I'll try to do another drop soon but I appreciate you and thank you so much so this next thing might be kind of random but I went to the park as I do most mornings we usually take our dogs just to get them out since we live in an apartment and look lately my hyper fixation has just been bugs. I've been learning about all the bugs. It's no secret. I've talked about this already. I'm like fascinated by the idea of raising moths. So every now and then when I'm at the park, I'll try to find caterpillars or something. It's just like really entertaining and fun when you find them. I wanted to share because I found this really cute grasshopper. I don't know why. I just love him so much and I think he's the cutest. So I just had to share him with you. I don't know why, but I have been afraid of bugs like my entire life. So it's just really fun to not be so afraid of them and actually think they're kind of cute especially this one like he's so bright green and he is so tiny and nice and he was just like hanging out with me so I just thought I'd throw that in there because I don't know <laughs> I took a video of it just in case anyone wanted to see my weird grasshopper this morning but with all that being said it is time to pack some orders <laughs> Clue 
clearly I need to do some dishes because this is what I'm drinking my latte out of. It's like barely full right now. I'll do the dishes later. Right now I want to crochet. So I just got a couple more orders from that plushy drop I was talking about a few days ago with you. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm trying to include a little free gift with each of the orders, but I only have one more of the little yarnlies left. So I need to make one more before these go out. I figured I'm going to use these colors right here since I do have one other yarnly in these two colors. I think I'm going to use this as the main color for our yarnly. But as I was saying, today was the pattern release day for Monty the Moth. So I've been a little bit busy. I feel like I'm always running by the seat of my pants on pattern release days, like just getting everything ready. And you know, it's just a lot. So I've been doing that and I just got everything posted and everything is good to go. So now we are going back to orders. And today is honestly pretty jam packed for me. If you don't know, I do have a job outside of just, you know, crochet and pattern designing and everything. As much as I wish that was just my full time thing, it's not quite at that point yet. So I've been a little busy with that and you know, just life things. I'm sure you've heard me talk about Ryan at this point. He is my husband and he is the greatest. And um, he actually likes to do triathlons. That's kind of his thing. Like I like to crochet. He likes triathlons and over the weekend he got second place overall in this really big triathlon in our area so i'm just like so excited for him and i just wanted to share that with you guys because i'm sure you guys will be excited for him too he's like kind of crazy how good he is at all that stuff i could never i try to keep up with him but i just could not and honestly i just like being at home and sitting on the couch and crocheting way too much so he is crazy but i figured i would share that because i just cannot believe that he got second place in this race with so many people i'm like counting while i'm talking to you and so it's not going very well we're making good progress on this little yarn lee though like i'm telling you this pattern works up so quick it's so amazing i love it like i'm already almost halfway done Crazy. So in terms of other updates, I kind of alluded to this in the last video, but my new crochet pattern for next month is in the works right now. I'm kind of in the process of still making tweaks and writing things out, but it is going to be a cat. I shared it over on Patreon yesterday. I'll show it to you in a second when I'm done with this, but you know, I feel like cats are just one of those animals where you kind of have to get everything right for it to look like a cat. Otherwise it's like, what is that thing? So I feel like I'm on the right track with the cat and I'm really hoping that everything goes smoothly and it can be next month's pattern. You never know, honestly, like I might start to hate it after a while. I'm not sure if any other pattern designers can relate to this, but honestly, after I've looked at my pattern and done all these little edits for, you know, God knows how long, I kind of start to question myself and get some imposter syndrome and be like, is this even cute? Like, are people gonna like this? Okay, I'm at a good pausing point. So I'm gonna show you the cat really quick. So this is what he looks like. We're undecided on his name right now. I'm kind of leaning towards Carl the cat, but who knows? I like to do, what is it called? An alliteration with the name. So something that starts with C because he's a cat, but this is him. And my patrons and I have decided that his eyes need to be a little farther apart because he's looking a little cross-eyed and I don't know, they're just too close. So we're gonna put them farther apart and then there's gonna be a few different variations. Like I'm gonna have a spotted one. This is him and I don't know, I hope it goes well. Like I hope it turns out the way I want it to and everything's great. So here he is now. He's subject to change by the time he's finally released for the better. So here's our progress. Okay, I finished our little emotional support cup. It took me about 15 minutes, but I think it's because I was blabbing to the camera. <laughs> Otherwise, it usually takes me about 10, but they're really cute. And I just love doing this with a bunch of scrap yarn too. I also need to make the little tags on this just because I find that if I don't say that it's a free gift, people are so nice that I found if I put a free gift in an order and I don't specify that it was a free gift, they'll message me and be like, hey, did you mean to put this in here or whatever? So I like to say that it's a free gift from me so that they know and they don't have to worry on their end. But let's go ahead and start packing these orders. So fun. I love it. I love it. Okay, so here are the two cups. I did them like opposite. I think they're so cute. And then I just cut a little piece of paper and hole punched it like this. That's what I'm doing for now. And then I just am going to be tying a bow with some of this cotton yarn that I have because let's be real, I'm not a fan of cotton yarn as much as I used to be. It's just not as soft as chenille. Nothing wrong with it. It's just, you know, not using it as much lately. So I'm going to do that and then we're going to pack them up. 
So I just realized I completely forgot to show you the plushies that are going home today, but one order was a pink loaf cat with the dark pink spots, and then another one was an emotional support shrimp. So I just finished packing those up, which is great. They're ready to go. And now I really want to try to get a workout in because I have just been slacking in that department. And this might sound crazy, but I notice whenever I'm not working out as consistently, I tend to get a lot more pain when I'm crocheting. Like for me, when I get crochet pain, it tends to be right here and up my arm and it's just awful it's so bad and there's nothing that will make it go away other than taking a break from crochet which obviously is not ideal for me I don't want to do that so I find when I do an upper body workout and I do some stretching it really really helps so that's really like the only advice I have if you're struggling with pain I also do a lot of stretches in my hands like this sort of thing but personally I find that it never actually like alleviates the pain when I'm crocheting so I try to be more consistent about doing a lot of exercises with my back muscles because obviously when you're crocheting you tend to be like slouched over like this so I really focus on that if you were wondering I don't know why I'm going on this whole spiel right now but another thing I also struggle with is just knowing what to do when I'm working out so I use this app I forget what it's called I think it's like mad fit or something and it's a subscription but the nice thing about it is it literally just says like do this do this and it's like all tailored to my needs I guess I'm pretty sure I'm just rambling at this point because I don't want to work out and I'm avoiding it so I'm gonna go do that and I will check in with you later <laughs> So Remy is joining me for just a second here, but for the past day or so, I've been working on a pattern test for Annabelle from Crochet Grove, and I'm so excited to show it with you. One second. So I'm currently testing her elephant pattern, and this is the first one that I made. I am absolutely obsessed with how this turned out, but I realized after I finished it and sewed everything on that I made a mistake. And so obviously I wanted to get it right so that she can have the good tester photo and I do it correctly. So I don't really think it's very noticeable or that it looks bad or anything but basically I realized after I finished that I joined the trunk to the wrong round so it kind of creates this little bump right here I don't know if you can tell yeah it's sort of like this little bump right here that's not supposed to be there and obviously I want her to have the good tester photo and everything so I'm working on another one but it's actually really exciting and it works out because she actually has a woolly mammoth modification in the pattern so I'm doing a mammoth and I'm gonna show you you'll be able to see what I'm talking about a little more but this is the new head and it only has one year right now but this is the new head where I did the trunk correctly so if you look at this trunk compared to this one I think you can see it a little bit more like this one almost just looks more like one cohesive piece where this one definitely has like a little break in between the head and the trunk so I definitely prefer the way it's supposed to be in her pattern but for obvious reasons, I feel like I just need to redo it so that it looks how it's supposed to. I still think that I'll end up selling this one because it's so cute and I mean, it doesn't look bad or anything. Like I think it still looks really cute and I don't know, maybe I'll keep it for myself. This pattern is seriously so adorable and I'll make sure to update you when it's released. I'll try to update it in the description of this video, but it's a really good one and she is so talented. Like the way that she designs things are so creative and it's almost like things I just never would have thought of that she comes up with that are just so good. So. I highly recommend this pattern. This elephant has taken me a bit of time just because I've been trying to get all caught up with my own pattern designing and stuff like that. And you know, I'm not sure if it's that I've stared at my cat pattern for too long, but the more that I look at it, the more I feel like I need to make some tweaks to it to make it look perfect. So I think my plan today is to crochet another cat and hopefully get that done. And then I also wanna work some more on the mammoth because he only has one ear and it's very sad. He needs his other ear and his body and I'm just obsessed with him. She also has like a tutorial in the pattern for how to make it look like it has hair like a mammoth. So I'm really, really excited to show you how this turns out. But I think that's pretty much everything. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna get crocheting and I'm just gonna keep you updated. So it is quite a bit later. I wanna say it's about at least a couple hours later than the last time I picked up the camera, but I did finish updating the cat. So if you noticed from the last time I showed him to you, I moved his spot over so it's on the front of his head a little bit more. And then I just kind of updated the placement of the legs just a tiny bit and the face embroidery. And I think overall it just looks better and I like him a lot more now. And then he's got his little spots. So I think he's ready to go 
for the tech editor. So that's super exciting, but my hands and my back are starting to hurt and I'm trying to be better about nipping it in the bud because I noticed that when I kind of keep crocheting, even when it hurts a little bit, I'll end up with this insane shoulder pain. So I think I'm going to leave the crocheting of that today and go spend some time outside, hopefully get my dogs to the park and chill out a little bit, so. So I think it's been two days since the last time I talked to you and since then a few fun things have happened. First of all, I painted my nails. I actually had you guys over on Instagram help me decide what color to do and I ended up doing these really fun sparkly blue, so I had to show them to you because I'm pretty excited about them. I usually have really long nails or what I would consider to be long, but I just went with really short nails this time and honestly, it feels so nice. It's so much easier to crochet with shorter nails in my opinion, but I'm very happy about that. So I had to share. Second of all, I did finish my second, this is technically a mammoth, but elephant for the elephant crochet pattern test I'm doing for Crochet Grove. I absolutely love this, like the little hair. This is the first time I've really ever done this hair technique here. And I just think it's so cute. And yeah, I'm obsessed with him. I mentioned earlier, I ended up doing the trunk the correct way this time, but this is how the other one turned out where I misread the pattern completely because I was just in the zone. And I honestly still think this is cute. So I've got my two elephants and that was honestly the bulk of my week and as I mentioned I have a new crochet pattern coming soon I think I've kind of talked to you about that I'm pretty sure I'm all over the place you'll have to forgive me but this is our updated one and I'm still deciding on his name you know I have been having so much difficulty with this lately but I'm thinking we're gonna go with Charlie the cat for this he is currently being edited by my tech editor and so once I get that back we'll have our tester call and I'm so excited to see your cats I think he's really cute I just love his little arms these are no so you just work these into the body he's got his little tail and all his little spots and i'm just all about the cats we know this we know this but that's pretty much everything that i have worked on this week so thank you for hanging out with me once again i just love making these videos and it seems like you guys are really loving these vlogs too so Thank you again. I really appreciate each and every one of you who watch my videos. It means so, so much to me. I cannot begin to express it. So thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video and you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content from me. And I will see you next Monday. Bye.